human being. Today, Splash Africa takes you to Axim in the western region, where a Dutch fort called Fort Saint Anthony, in Portuguese translation, Fort Santo Antonio, is situated. Fort Saint Anthony is a fort built by the Portuguese in 1515 near the town of Axim. In 1642, the Dutch captured the fort and subsequently made it part of the Dutch Gold Coast. The Dutch expanded the fort considerably before they turned it over with the rest of their colony to the British in 1872. The fort is now the property of the Ghanaian state and is open to the public. Between three fort and castles, only three are castles, all the rest are fort. You have one at Termina, Cape Cruz, and Accra, Christianburg Castle. All the rest are fort. But the first open country <coughs> to come to this country were the Portuguese. They came here in 1471. When they came, they came along with their leader called Don Diago de Azambuja. So in 1482, they built the Emna Castle, they named the castle. St. George. So in 1502, exactly 33 years time in 1502, they divided themselves into two. Part of them came here from Elimina to Axim. When they came, they also appointed a new leader called J.M. Gomez. So in 1503, they started to build this fort. In 1515, they completed everything in named the fort St. Anthony. So from 1515 up to date, this fort is now at the age of 504 years. These forts were built purposely for slavery and trading. After 1642, when the Dutch also came and captured the fort from the Portuguese. So the Dutch were here up to 1872. When they were about to leave, they sold the fort to the British at a cost of 45 pounds. They left the country. So the British were also here up to when we get Ghana in 1957. But before all the Portuguese were here, this fort was built without cement. They used clay, lime powder, and stones. After the building, they were having about 280 prisoners here. These 280 prisoners, only 95 of them are female. All the rest are male. When the governor was here, called James Gomez, when he was here, this is his bedroom, upstairs. So the prisoners, sometimes, they brought them here for fresh air. Maybe they brought them here, and they say, we have to send back to where they kept them. If there's no way, why their stand is going, they have to be in the sun. Even they prefer here much better than where they kept them. When they brought them here, this governor Gomez, he just an upstairs. When he wanted to call some of the slaves, he doesn't know my name, he doesn't know your name. So those times they have to shout, hey. So the moment he raise up her head, my friend come. But he normally invite ladies. He can stand there and point about two or three. If he point you, you have to kind of steps. This man is going to have sex with them because doesn't have wife, so he does their business to detain himself. But the boat that is, they used boat to that machine, paddle, something like this. So when this boat was about to leave in this country, they took 600 slaves into the boat, from Maxim to Elimina, Elimina, back to Portugal. But these 600 slaves, when they reach at Jamaica, to send some to Jamaicans, South America, France, and the rest have descended to Portugal. But before they reach at Jamaica, six and this place are going to remain about 240. All don't have died. If you die, just throw into the sea. But when they send you over there, you just say the woman be one city with a pregnant woman, two cities. 
So it came to some time that this governor wanted to marry. So when the boat came, this governor informed the captain to send the message to the governor of Portugal. He wanted to marry his only country now. So one day this man was coming off his room and saw something far away on the sea. So he went back to his room and kept the telescope. To the scope, he found that this boat is coming. All the princes were here. Because the ladies knew whenever this man was there, we just invited us. When they saw him, they just burned down their eyes. But during that time, his attention was on the boat. The time I discovered one lady in the boat, he became happy. So we're getting up on the step, looking through the scope. So when he was at the mouth of the one, this man pushed the boat through the scope. So the wife was in front of him. Because he was very happy that very day. He thought, if you make a step, he's going to fall into the boat. So when he make a step, he fell down here. But they said, we're here laughing. They were happy that this man has fallen down. Two, they haven't seen a woman being falling down, stretching his hands and the legs. They thought maybe the man was joking. That's why he was down there. So when the wife came, she came and met the dead body of her husband. And was buried here. So this is the grave of the governor called Gomez. So that's the grave of the governor. All the Belgians were here, they were here as Christmas, Christians. They rather bought one Catholic in this country. So this people made a tender. This only goes through at the back. We have to an island on the sea. Before, before then, here it was a land. So the sea was at the back of that island. So this tender goes through at the back of that island. Anytime, whenever, whenever they want to send the slaves into the boat, they have to pass the tender. Even anytime when the boat comes, these five people will go to the town and ask permission from the chief. So during the night, they will start preaching. So after preaching, while they were preaching, the prison have to pass to the tender. So after loading, the preaching has to go over. So at one last, they came along with their first war clock, which has been about 452 years now. This is their first war clock. Because they were Roman Catholics, that's why they broke this work law. That's why we see Roman numbers. <laughs> but the watch wasn't here. Formerly they had a version tower at the front of the fort. But the tower had been brought down. That's why you have placed it here. But formerly it wasn't here. This is their oven. Oven. This is their oven for baking bread. Even the, the bread that they bought it here, they just use their hand to grind the flour. When they, put, when they put the fire in, when the fire goes down, they just put the bread, you cover it. Because there's no hole around, just half minutes, the bread will be over. While they were making the bread, a one white mouth, just come and stand here, guarding the, the prisoner. So he was thinking that maybe if he doesn't stand there and guard the prisoner, maybe the, the prisoner will give some of the blood to the other prisoners down there. So those down there, when they give them porridge, no bread, no food, no kosi. They just drink the cocoa just like that, just a small sugar. From there, they have to divide themselves into two and send part of them to the bush to go and cut timber. The timber that they cut, they use axe and chainsaw. So when they brought it down, they use something like, it's not, it's not that chainsaw, something like that, uh, that tool that the carpenter used to cut their woods. So maybe if they put, if they put the timber down, they have to cut all the branches. They have to use rope to tie the timber and pull it from, maybe from either from Aguacanta or Takwadi. They have to bury them here. So when the, when the, when the boat comes, those who bought the timber here will just pick them to the boat. From there, they send you into the boat away. If they send you there, you are not coming again. 
But the boat from here to Portugal in and I spent they spent six nine months before they will go and come back. This floor, on which the cannon bomb sits according to our tour guide, is not a building, but a feeling. Mr. Aka tells us more. Uh, we have this matter here. We call it cannon bomb. This cannon bomb was bought by the Dutch in 1642, when they captured the fall from the Portuguese. So when they bought it, Every day, every night, there was a guard watching here on the sea. If the guard was here and you saw any boat crossing with that Dutch flag, that was an enemy. This way, there's a hole. You just put a bomb in. There's another hole here. You put down powder, you light it. This bomb goes almost a half a mile. If you throw a bomb and the bomb didn't hit you, bomb, there will be a challenge. So, just for where we are standing. It's not a story building, it's just a feeling. They used three years to fill all the surroundings before they put down the building. The reason why they did was that maybe if they throw a bomb and the bomb didn't hit you, um, there'll be a challenge. Maybe before you challenge, maybe you go back okay, before you make attempt. So if you throw a bomb from far away up to here, by the time the bomb reaches here, bomb meet, it will go down. So when you go down and hit the wall, because there's no room under, cannot destroy the wall. They knew if they put down some rooms under that and there's a hose. If any bomb hit the wall, it's going to collapse. That's why they intentionally fill it. So that if anything hit it, it cannot destroy. So all these things, all here were filled by the business. Just three years. To fill with head pants, not machine. Head pants. And that island, that island was built by the British. Yes, 1955. So it's now occupied by Ghana Port and Harbour. Mr. Aka then took us to the tunnel where our forefathers passed through, leading to the waiting boat. But we couldn't get in because the ladder that helped you get into it was faulty. Okay, this is the tunnel I was talking about. This tunnel of Malu goes through at the back of that island now on the sea. This tunnel, they're passing while the boat is on board. If the boat is not ready, most of the prisoners were being kept here during the night. If you go in here, they kept in 20 prisoners. These 20 prisoners, when they're about to sleep, they don't lie down by the stand. You have two gates in, one in, one outside. There's a ladder. When they're about to send them in, when you reach at the last steps, you jump. So in the morning, the white man will just put the leather in, then you climb. Even when they're about to give them a fold, the white man will just stand on the step and throw the fold down there. You have to struggle. Those there were different traps. So if you don't talk, that means the person you are standing with is not your, it's not your a, a person that came from your home, came from the same, the same town. So maybe if they are aware or gone, I have to stand up quiet because I can't hear you, you can't hear me. So when I kept them in, during the night, they became very hot. So when the girl closed the gate, you are not going to see him again until tomorrow morning. But during the night, because inside was very hot during the night, 
maybe the next day about two or three people will die while they were standing. So when the guard came and opened the gate the next day, the dead bodies had to be sent to the beach and dig one big hole and then bury them. That doesn't mean that yesterday some of us died, so you are free. You are going to be there until when the boat comes. If you are here, you don't die. God loves you. If you die, they will bury you. This tank was bought by the British when the fort was sold to them at the cost of 45 pounds. So when they came, they had bought this tank, they're storing in the rainwater. Though when the Dutch were here, they have a well here. But these people were thinking that maybe those people have just poisoned the well. So they thought maybe they drink such water, maybe they have a stomach problem. So that well water is being given to the slaves. So this, this uh, British man had all bought this and they store in the rain water. Though when they came, they came along with their, their own water. When their water got finished, they started to drink this water. So that well water is being given to the slaves. So they don't rather mean value the blast. Because the water is very clear, but they were telling that you fetch your rain water and keep it for three days, you find some worms in the water. So they just give that water to the business to drink. So this tank was bought by the British. When the Dutch, Portuguese, the British were here, this gate always closed. So when the guard was there and hear something like this, when he stand up, there's a hole here. This guard was watching first, before.
for. So if you find that maybe you are one of the agent, you just open the gate, small one, and go outside. So when you go outside, they have this case, the person that you bought in. So the one who, the, who, who, will be, who are going to sold will just stay outside. So if I outside the gate, you are not your prisoner. At the very moment you enter, that is your prisoner.